Welcome to Not Just Another Interview with Poker Stars Team Online, especially for Poker for Life. What is the most interesting or unusual gift that you ever gave or were given? Early in my poker career, uh, one year for Hanukkah, my dad gave me a book about two guys who lost their family fortune gambling. Um, I think he may have been trying to send some sort of message, but it, it didn't quite go through. Uh, early on when I was dating the girl who's now my wife, I was going to see a play that she was acting in and got lost on the way to the theater and somehow ended up at a Home Depot and missed the play. But I bought her a very nice cactus uh, from the Home Depot, which she didn't appreciate at all, but she stayed with me anyhow. I remember my dad's wife got a fire extinguisher as a present for Christmas, I thought it was pretty funny. I can show you, yeah, I can show something. Let's say this is one of the most unusual gifts I, I received. Two tickets to a Broadway show to Andre. That's not highly unusual, but... No idea. Pass. <laughs> Boxing dummy that I have downstairs now. Since I was pretty much into boxing the last few years, uh, I wanted to have something to work with in my apartment. And now there is this head handless guy standing in the living room that I can punch every time that I take a bad beat, I have a bad mood. For, for Christmas I received a uh, Barack Obama bobblehead. Uh, <laughs> there are some things that I can't, I can't talk at the camera, <laughs> but oh, I, I can't remember now, you know. Weirdest thing I've gotten has been, um, I got this squirrel that you put on your balcony, it's like a plastic squirrel. And it, um, it, it ba it's basically a light, so it's like uh, with sun cells. And uh, yeah, it's pretty weird. <laughs> Many years ago, I gave uh, an ex-girlfriend a big box with balloons, and when she opened it up, all went in there and stuff. Back when I was kind of corny, I guess. But besides that, I can't think of anything else. I think that must be the one that my wife gave to me on uh, a previous birthday. Little notes that just give you a gift for each day that you open it up. Like a little small gift for every single day, some different stuff. I guess the most special gifts that I give is usually also to my wife, which uh, is comics that I draw myself just with some nice storyline that involves us or like all background, or like something that only we two share or have in common. I guess one of, one of my friends gave me a bunch of old poker books, <laughs> poker books to read, but I had already, you know, well surpassed the level of those books. And the one that you gave? And the present that I gave. Um, I, for my brother and sister-in-law, for their wedding, I went to a garage sale or a yard sale and I spent one dollar and I bought them a stuffed bird, like a, a taxidermy where they, somebody hunted the pheasant, shot it and then mounted it. So I gave them that as their wedding present. So, so you got a wedding present for one dollar? Yeah. <laughs> so when I was like a teenager, I, uh, well I'm not a teenager, like yeah, late, late teenager, I bought someone like a star. It was all romantic and I was like, ah, oh, it would be nice as a kid and stuff, but I guess that's kind of different, but now everyone kind of does it, yeah. So Kind of lame. You want a star? Like yeah, but apparently it's not official. Like, this company just made this thing up and they're like, yeah, we'll sell stars, but you can't actually buy a star or name a star or anything, so I just wasted like $120 and yeah. I get lottery scratchers yeah, for Christmas uh, now that I play poker. Uh, my fa my uncles uh, probably think I'm a big DJ and gambler, so they just, just give me a bunch of lottery tickets nowadays. Well, last Christmas, Katarina gave me two tickets for uh, to watch uh, a play on, uh, on Broadway since we were going to New York before I came to the PCA. When I won APPC in Macau, uh, I was thinking, oh, I'm going home. I was there by myself. I was going home and I was like, I'm going to give, you know, like throw a little party or something. When I got back, uh, right from the airplane, and I got back to the house, they actually threw a surprise birthday for party, I mean, not birthday, a party for me for winning. And it was actually really nice, because of course I didn't expect that, and I'm the one who won, but I'm the one getting the, 
the free party. <laughs> a few years ago, I, I received uh, from my brother a very nice uh, cake for my birthday, which uh, simulates the hand played, uh, which I play versus Nanonoko, and I, I beat his uh, quads with my straight flash, and uh, the cake was actually very good. What do you say when you take a bad beat? <laughs> I do the same thing as my poker face when I'm bluffing, which is this. That's my bad beat. Well played. Dwayne, you might. I don't know what I say after a bad beat. I probably swear a lot. I probably swear a lot, yeah. <laughs> oh well. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Not again. Nice hand. <laughs> 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 That's why I'm here. Ouch. I don't say anything. <laughs> well, I'll go with no poker. I don't think that's that's not a very hard question. And uh <laughs> <laughs>